Welcome back everyone, Requiem here again. It's time for another edition of Fallout New Vegas. This time I'm going to show you all the proper way of how to hack a terminal. Give a quick little guide, try to get you guys knowing what you're doing and trying to hack one of these things. The one I'm doing is uh, is the one in Good Springs in the, I think it's called the Prospector Saloon. It's, it's the place where Trudy and Sunny Smiles are always in. You should be able to find it really easily. And it's in this back room here. Uh, it's considered like a, a bad terminal to hack, like it's owned or something. So you're going to want to crouch down. Yeah, this is what the bar looks like. Um, so just go in here and crouch down. And uh, it's an easy terminal. So you got to have uh, 25 um, science to be able to hack it. Luckily, um, I do just normally, so I can hack it just fine. Um, whenever you, for those of you, like, brand new to this, open up the terminal, look at it, it'll read you a bunch of useless crap. You can pretty much skip past whatever this is. And then the next screen is what you're looking for. You'll notice up top you have four attempts available, and then you'll see a, a bunch of words, uh, jumbled in with a bunch of symbols, and, um... Let's take the first one here, meeting. You see meeting and sending and setting and dancing. Let's take the first one here, meeting. Uh, it is seven letters long, and every letter holds a place. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click it and see. Uh, you see that meeting shows that uh, two of the seven letters are correct. That means two of the seven letters in the word meeting are the same, as the word you're looking for. So, you go and look at other words, I guess. Uh, look at similar words, whatever, and then try to figure out which one would be close. Um, cheat sheet, if you pick a word that ends in like ING or ION or something like that, um, if, if it only has like one or two of seven, that means that it in, in, since the other word ends in ION or ING or something like that, it can't be that word. So, just go find another one like warrior, right? And you'll go down and you'll see uh, M is the first letter in meeting. W is the first word in warrior. That's not the same. Uh, and then it's E and A. That's not the same. And then E and R. That's not the same. T and, uh, uh, let's see, T and R. And then I and I. That means the I's are in the same spot. That one's correct. Uh, N and O and G and R. So the only letter that was in the same uh, numerical position in the in the letter or in the word is the I. So it's technically only one of seven correct. So that's not the word you're looking for. You know for a fact that warrior is not the word you're looking for. Um, so you've got to go and try to find another word that would work out um, better for it, I guess. Uh, a word that actually has two of seven. So... Let's see here. Let's try offline. M and O is in the first letters. That's not the same. The two E's and the two F's, that's not the same. At T and L, it's not the same. Then there's I and I in the same spot, N and N in the same spot, and G and E that aren't. So that is two of seven. Offline it has the potential of being the word we're looking for. So it has... A, we can go ahead and click on it and see that it isn't the uh, correct word, however, which sometimes happens. And that just means that you're that much closer to finding the word. It actually, by you getting it wrong, it actually inadvertently made it easier to find the other word. Now, we're down to two attempts, and we don't really want to lose out uh, on our, our chance of finding this word. We don't have to like go back into this. So you see all these like random little symbols around here? The, the highlighted one here, there are going to be brackets, there are going to be parentheses, but as long as there's a start and an end closed to a parentheses, the word will, like the symbol, like this, will highlight, and you can click on it. And whenever you do, it will do one of two things. It'll either remove a dud, like this one did, which just takes out one of the words that isn't the word you're looking for, or it um, gives what's called an allowance replenish, which uh, puts you back up at uh, four attempts instead of however many you've used. So, go around looking for it. Yeah, there's one. It's uh, 
the you see the it has a start parentheses and an end parentheses, and that one removed a dud. It's pretty pretty cool. And then just go around looking for all of these. Uh, I usually try to do this after like one or two attempts, just because it makes it easier that way. And there's another one removed a dud. And there's another one removed another dud. And we're just gonna head back looking through all of this. And it looks like I got them all, I think. <coughs> I think that's everything. Let's try the word affront now that a few duds are missing. Uh, first letter's A, the first letter of offline. No, that's not going to be it. Let's try welcome. Welcome, uh, first letter M in meeting, first letter W and welcome. No, E and E. All right, the E's are in the same spot. Your second E in meeting, your L and welcome. No, T, C, that's not the same. You have your I in meeting and your O and welcome. That's not the same. N and M and G and E. So only one of seven is uh, are the same. That's not the right word. Let's try a new word. Uh, acquire. All right, and we can you can use either word since they're they're both two of seven. An acquire, it's O and offline, A and acquire, that's not right. F and C, F and Q, that's not it. Uh, L and U, I and I, that one works. Um, N and R, that one doesn't, but then E and E. So that one has two of seven. However, we have another word, remember, let's try meeting with it. It's uh, M and A, that's not right. E and C, and then E and Q, that's not it either, still 0 of 7. T and U, let's see, I and I, all right, the I's are in the same spot. Uh, we have the N in meeting and the R in acquire at the sixth position, that's not the same. And then the G and the E, that's not the same. So meeting is 1 of 7, and offline is 2 of 7. And that shows you that acquire is not the same word. That's not the word you're looking for. And that's a, that's a real quick way to know, uh, just if you've picked like one or two words, like a couple words, go over both words first. It might work. Let's try sterile. Um, S and M in meeting, that's not right. T and E in meeting, that's not it. There's the E's match up. Let's see. Uh, T and R don't match up. I and I, the I's match up. N and L and G and E in the seventh spot. All right, so meeting is two of seven. Let's try offline. Uh, o and offline, S and sterile, F and T, F and E, L and R, all right, I in the uh, fifth spot, and then something different in the sixth, and then E in the seventh. So sterile has the possibility, sterile is two of seven in both words, so it has the possibility of being the right answer. So let's try it, see what it works. I, I think it should... I think sterile ended up being the right one, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't remember how long it takes me to click the thing. Let's see if it's the right one. <clears throat> Since both of them are two of seven, it should be right, especially in a, an easy one. Yep, just click on sterile and that's the right one. And you see there, uh, that's the way to do it. Now this particular one, uh, oh, I went ahead and leveled up from that one. Uh, this particular uh, terminal unlocks a hard lockpick, like safe. You can see in like the bottom right corner of my screen right now. Um, <clears throat> if you're not big on lockpick, I would suggest going ahead and doing that. It's pretty pretty easy to do. Um, you also, um, I don't know, if you want to come back to it like I do, I wait until I have like 75 lock picking and then go and get a bunch of hard ones. Yeah, there's some there's some pretty good stuff in there, but I come back and lock pick it whenever I have 75 lock picking. I, that's just because I like the extra experience. So I just save that one for later. But um, yeah, that's basically how to have uh, how to properly hack a terminal. It's all about numbers and what position they are in the word, and um, 
if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comment box. I'm going to go ahead and save it, and uh, that should be everything. You should be good to go. And that concludes this one. Thanks, guys.